Hi everyone, welcome to the second video on the Calendly digital tool. Uh, this is a platform or a tool that is used to schedule meetings or appointments, right? So in our case, for the purpose of the video, it will be based on parent consultation meeting schedule. And let's say as a parent, you were provided with a link right so the link would have been provided and you would either click that link based on the device you're using and the link would then take you to a particular page in my case i have the link on hand now so what i'm gonna do is to place my link in the section that we normally place our link and i'm now proceeding to the page right so i entered my link or i clicked on my link and it took me to this page on this page now i am able to see what this um event is about so it's a parent consultation session and is expected to last five minutes per parent teacher um consulting right and then it gives us an overview of what the, the, the consultation session is about that's on the left and on the right now as a parent we are provided with a calendar um giving us some dates that the meeting are available so let's say um the grouping was one set of parent would be done on a thursday and then the next set of parent would be done on a friday right so let's say i am the parent who has have my meeting on the thursday so i'm seeing two available days the third and the fourth those are highlighted in blue to indicate that they are available right so i'm the parent who is expected to meet with a particular teacher on the third so i'm clicking on the third and then once I click on that, I'm then provided with a breakdown as to the time which the teacher will be available to meet with um, parents, right? So we have our start time from 8.30 and it goes all the way up to um, 2.50 there about right so these are the available times and then as a parent you would go through to see which of these time is able to be available for you right so let's say again in my case as a parent i am selecting the a30 slot right so i'm clicking on the a30 slot and when i click on the a30 slot it gives a confirm button to Take me to the next page so I can fill out my information as a parent just ahead of the time and also to get it on my calendar. So I'm clicking on confirm and I'm brought to a page where I am expected to enter some details, right? So the first set of information that I'm expected to enter is my name, the email address, and is it that I want to anything specific that i want to speak to the teacher about that could also be shared in this slot there's a part to enter your child's name the class for the child and your contact as a parent just in case there were some form of um additional information that the teacher wanted to reach out then the contact could be provided on the left hand side again we're seeing the breakdown and then this time it shows us for this particular parent the meeting will begin at 8 30 and it ends at 8 35 because it's a duration of five minutes so that will be the time slot that is organized for this as a parent so that gives me um the time frame for my meeting and the day that my meeting will take place. So it will be on Thursday, the, the 3rd of February for that year. All right, so to fill out my information to ensure that I am down on the teacher's calendar, on the teacher's appointment list, I want to ensure that I enter my requisite information. So I'm gonna proceed to enter my name, email address, and the additional um, information. So let's say I'm just putting IT kid as my example. All right, that's my name, and then I enter my email address. All right, following that, if it is that I want the teacher to know of a question I have in mind before reaching to that meeting, then I could indicate that here. So let's say you wanted to. Um, you wanted to know if there was any outstanding homework 
right? Was there any outstanding home work, right? And then the teacher would know to prepare for a question like that um, ahead of the meeting time. So that would be taken into consideration for the meeting. All right, then you would proceed to enter your child's or ward's name. So let's say my child is John Doe, right? And my class belongs, child, sorry, belong to seven love right so let's say that's the name of the class and then as a parent i was asked to enter the contact number again um this section you would enter your number so they give you the plus one i'm in the jamaica zone so i enter the 876 and then the number five 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 one two three four five Technically, that would be my contact number just in case a teacher wants to reach out. And then that would have been the bulk of the information that they needed just to prepare, um, have this in advance and to also allow for the Google Calendar to complete it. One thing before I schedule the event, as a parent, ensure that the email address that you're using is a Gmail account so that the information can be stored on your calendar and you could also get a reminder on your device whether email or a text message just to give you a reminder to say that you're going to be having a meeting so maybe 30 minutes before the meeting this will allow for the, the reminder to take place and it also allow for it to show up on your calendar so ensure you try your best to use a gmail account as a parent so that things can run smoothly all right Having completed all of that, we would proceed to schedule our event so that a teacher can now see that um, the parent IT kid um, made a, an appointment for their child, John Doe. All right, so I'm scheduling my event. And then at this point, no, right? At this point, the where we will be able to see that our meeting has been confirmed and they give us a breakdown concerning that, right? So they also indicate that we receive a calendar invitation to our email. So as a parent, whichever Gmail account that you use, ensure that you check your email and confirm in your email, right, the information that was sent out. All right, so having done that now, you just ensure that for the day of the meeting, right, you check by the email so that you can utilize the link that will be provided there. All right, so once we do the confirmation as a parent, we can also go to the email address that we used, right? So I'm just leaving this browser here. I am now in my email, my Gmail to be exact, that I used to sign up just to see the confirmation email that I received, right? So um, if it is that you're not locating the email in your inbox, then you can check your spam or your social or whatever name that is there that your emails could possibly have gone. You could check those areas if it is not located in your inbox. All right, so I open my email here and I'm seeing the invitation. Who are the persons that will be in the meeting, right? So the teacher's name was IT Kid and myself, the parent is IT Kid 1, and the meeting will be held with this particular parent, February 3, from 8.30 to 8.35 a.m., right? And it gives us that information. The first part here in the email shows us the breakdown of that, and you can make the confirmation to say that you will be in attendance to the meeting. There is also some additional information when you scroll down. The Google Calendar is there as to um, the link that you will be clicking on to join the meeting at the particular time. So again, time is a must because it is scheduled for a particular time. And once it has reached to the 8.35, automatically the system will have to end that session. All right. So the information is there where you can join the meeting. So you can join it using the meet link that they provide or there is an additional link 
based on the Calendly. So whichever of these you would choose to join from, then you could select the link there. All right, so there are two locations where you can choose to join the event. All right, so they also give an option as to how it will appear on your calendar so you could also view on your calendar so if i click on that then it loads my calendar to show me that on the 3rd of february right there will be a meeting so i'm just closing these pop-up on the 3rd of february and when i check here it is in fact save on my calendar so it has been noted on my calendar as as a parent and it tells me that this meeting will be held on thursday the third beginning at 8 30 so it is in your calendar and based on how your device is set up if it is your smartphone then i believe you should also receive a little reminder before the time for the meeting all right so just to return to the email everything could be done from the email so the when the meeting is supposed to start you can have the email link or if you're a person who likes to organize yourself then you could even copy this link before the meeting and save it somewhere so that you don't have to come back in the email but again depending on the person you might just decide to leave it in the email so you could return to the email and then um, select the link to join that particular meeting from there all right so that's technically the wrap up on the parent end as to how the confirmation of the meeting will be done thank you so very much for tuning in and i do hope that you have learned a little bit i guess on the calendly app and then you will be able to utilize it just to confirm your meeting as a parent or as an invitee to confirm and schedule your meeting so that it will be done in a timely order and on the correct event thank you again for tuning into this session